Yes, Jolene. Explain to me what's going on here. Today we are in Dunkery Street. Um, this is one uh, of four border shops. Um, and these lorries are going in to be checked for their goods coming from the Canada and UK. And I don't believe that something coming from our nation should be checked as if it's from a foreign land. I don't believe that. that um, something coming from one part of the United Kingdom should be checked at all. Um, however, that is where the protocol has got us. That's where the EU's non-negotiations have got us. Um, and we must get rid of this protocol as soon as possible. Do you, do you think von der Leyen... Do you think that von der Leyen, as she says, has got a grasp on the situation here? How do people think? And what will... Well, keep the peace process safe. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, the, these, these unelected bureaucrats have come over here and decided that they know what the people of Northern Ireland want. They don't know what the people of Northern Ireland want. And if they really want to, to, to test it, let's put it to a referendum. It should have been, been um, up to the people of Northern Ireland, and it hasn't been put to them. Um, and they will overall reject the Northern Ireland Protocol and any infiltration of the the European Union until our nation. I totally agree with you. That's why I'm here today. Shame there wasn't a bigger turnout. I think there's a bigger following than the people who have turned up here. Without a doubt. Um, without a doubt. They keep the, the, the picket small. Um, and and the, the reality is that um, the, this small picket goes a long way. Um, there is no point in, in us having thousands of people here who don't fully understand. Everyone here understands the protocol um, and that's what, what it's about today. It's about um, picking it up. We don't want large crowds. Well, you know, the, the larger the crowd, obviously, the better. However, that's not the main aim of this picket. This picket is to take the protest to the, to the checkpoints um, without causing um, harm or grief to anyone. Um, uh, and that's all what we want today is, is to show peaceful intent um, because unfortunately the, the opposition don't know what peaceful intent is and have threatened violence and have, have inflicted violence in this country for, for, you know, the saying is for over 50 years. It's not over 50 years, it's over hundreds of years that the IRA have inflicted violence and pain on the unionist people in this in this nation. Um, that's not where, what we're about. We're about peaceful democratic means. And if our democracy is destroyed, then unfortunately it may descend into the violence. I hope that's not the case, but unfortunately um, the EU and the UK government are tying our hands. Well, the threat of violence the, 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 the government and the Republic and the oligarchs in Brussels refused a hard border in Ireland under the threat of suge suggested threat of violence f from the nationalist Sinn Féin IRA. So, how come they can threaten violence and get what they want and then condemn anybody else for threatening violence? It's an absolute disgrace. Isn't it? it, 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 it and, and I think the media have a big part to play in this. The media... Um, have, have drummed it up at any time that the unionism has said we will resort to violence if we have to. We don't want to. However, when, when Sinn Féin IRA stood up in, in, in Stormont, when, when they stood up in the Dáil and said, and Leah Faradka said that we, we cannot do this because the IRA will cause violence. The reality is, if the IRA caused violence, then the British Army need to step in and alleviate the IRA instead of pussyfooting around them and letting them in the government. Well, 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 well said. Thank you very much, Julie. <laughs> well, here we are, in a nice organised protest against the Northern Ireland Protocol, which is regarded by everyone as totally illegal, even agreed by courts and uh, governments that the protocol is unworkable. How can you put a border in the Irish Sea between the United Kingdom and the United Kingdom? It's absolutely ridiculous.
and I totally agree with Jolene. That's why I made my FUEU t-shirts because I feel so strongly about it. I'm not a loyalist. I'm not a ardent Protestant. I'm one of those, what you call, the, the silent majority, who are now getting really pissed off and wanting to come out in the street. Well, say a few words. Take a wee video. It's up to yourself. You're, right. good, you're a good speaker. Uh, well, well, Julian knows I can talk shit. <laughs> right, right, not a bad speaker. Aye, not a problem. I'll, I'll, I'll go, and get my, go and get my stuff here. Aye, I'm just doing this for YouTube yeah, for yeah, myself. Fine, I'm doing the same for Jolene's YouTube, so you, you stick one on with us, we'll stick one on with you. Sweet. So here we are. I'm a cunt, Independent Media Association covering news topics. Jolene's next Belfast City Councillor, who got ostracised and penalised for telling the truth uh, uh, and telling it how she sees it. But the protocol is absolutely and utterly unacceptable on all levels. And in many communities, it's not just the Protestant community, but the nationalist community too. There's a lot of them don't actually like the protocol because it was forced upon us. It was not voted on. It was not discussed. It was Leo Vadiger, von der Leyen, Merkel and Boris Johnson agreed to it just to get Brexit done. They sold the Northern Ireland out just to get Brexit done. I'm getting attacked here. One of those horrible chaps from the media is, is attacked. You know, you know those boys you can't trust in the media. Those, what do you call these Marxy leftists? They're always pushing the woke agenda. <laughs> so, it's kept small. They don't want a massive, uncontrollable protest. They just want to send a message that there are people here who are not happy with the protocol. It was not voted on. It was not discussed with the people of Northern Ireland. And for von der Leyen, the third to say that she knows after all the years she has spent and been involved in Northern Ireland she dares to say she knows that the protocol is the only way to maintain the peace in Northern Ireland that statement alone shows that the woman is an idiot and has absolutely no idea what the hell she's talking about but her open grappling fuhrer her fuhrer Merkel well she seems to want a new Fourth Reich, but a communist one, the way she's sucking up the Putin. It's all about the gas. And again, Putin has stolen the gas off the Ukrainians and now he's bypassing the whole country with an unbelievable sea pipeline just to penalise Ukraine. after stealing their uh, gas rigs in the Black Sea. The world's gone to hell, but in Northern Ireland, we do not like to be pushed about. One thing that gets me is Joe Biden with his great Catholic roots. It's great Joe Biden and his Irish Catholic roots. Oh, John F. Kennedy. What about the 30% of all American presidents who are from Ulster Protestant immigrant families? 30%. You never hear if it's an all-inclusive United Ireland, you never hear them promoting the fact that 30% of all American presidents were from Ulster Protestant stock. They only tell us what they want us to hear. As the saying goes, they treat us like mushrooms, they keep us in the dark and feed us on shite. So for all you English auditors, you have no idea. You just go round there and you stand outside police stations and if a policeman turns up with a, a weapon, you shit your little girly panties. In Northern Ireland, all police stations are secure, all police officers have weapons. And because of that, I have to say that in the UK, 
the PSNA is probably the most professional force you have because I've been around a few highly secure police stations stood outside with my camera annoyed them and unlike England nobody said boo to me I was left alone to my own devices to go about in my legal activity I didn't get hit with a section 43 terrorist shit oh have to go over and do an interview back soon.